Toho's Godzilla Minus One is a movie that has rocked the very core of Hollywood, a mega movie that was made for only less than $15 million and yet having near perfect CGI and great acting as well as storytelling. Minus One just puts Disney to shame with their $200 million movies which begs the question where does all the money go to? This Godzilla is making headlines and breaking records all over and with just less than 10% of a budget of a Marvel flick and it was a sight to see. Get your tickets and skedaddle right to the nearest theater. But sadly, most of the world will still have to wait for this masterpiece. Anyway, here in this video, we will discuss the origins of this Godzilla, the size of the pre-mutated version, its design, and all about it. So let's get to it. So firstly, Godzilla in all his different movies and incarnations has had different origin stories. The very first one was created by radiation from a nuclear test conducted by the US in the Pacific Ocean. The Heisei Godzilla was originally a dinosaur called Godzillasaurus that survived in an island on the Pacific and was mutated by the Castle Bravo test in 1954. The 1998 TriStar Godzilla also had a similar origin story but was an iguana egg that was irradiated and hence the baby's DNA mutated to form into this colossal kaiju. GMK was a reincarnation of the dead of World War II. Shin Godzilla was a hyper-evolving creature that came out of nuclear waste. Singular point Godzilla is a trans-dimensional monster. Godzilla Earth is the result of ultimate evolution and the monsterverse Godzilla is an ancient titan that came from the hollow Earth. So where did Godzilla Minus One come from? In the movie, this Godzilla was seen first in the opening scenes as a gigantic dinosaur-like monster called Gojira by the locals of Odo Island in the Pacific. For those who don't know, or who are new to the Godzilla lore, Odo Island is a fictional island separate from the Japanese chain of islands and is situated somewhere in the Pacific. This place is most notable for being a part of the first Godzilla movie ever, as the place where the first sighting of the OG Godzilla was reported in the movie. Anyway, in Minus One, Gojira there was known to the natives as a sea monster that at times appears and brings up deep sea fish to the island. Whether or not it lived in harmony with the natives is unknown, but judging by its fierceness and aggressiveness towards humans, it probably was a very territorial animal and it might have harbored hatred towards humans due to World War II. Anyway, this dinosaur-like creature is of course a Godzillasaurus, which took inspiration from the Heisei origin story and mixed it with the Showa location. Since it was Lagos Island, not Odo Island, that was the home of the Godzillasaurus in the 1984 movie. So the first interaction in Minus One was in 1945 between the Japanese soldiers and this dinosaur-like Godzilla, which was not yet mutated and this interaction resulted in most of the Japanese being killed, yet they were not eaten or consumed, meaning it was acting territorially or out of pure hatred. The only survivors of this ordeal was Tachibana and Shikishima, who carried something known as survivor's guilt after seeing their comrades dead while they still lived on. Anyway, this theme would carry the movie forward and set the tone of the story arc as well. A year later, after the Second World War ended with the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the US and the USSR went to the beginnings of a state of cold war between them. The US would start to test nukes in, in the Pacific, in the Bikini Atolls. These were named Operation Crossroads and were a pair of nuclear weapon tests conducted by the US in mid-1946. They were the first nuclear weapons tests since Trinity and the first detonations of a nuclear device after Nagasaki. The purpose of these tests was to investigate the effect of nuclear weapons on warships. But unfortunately, in the movie, these were also the genesis of Godzilla. The radiation from these tests mutated the Godzilla source on Odo Island, which is situated very near the test sites. And from this, the Godzilla source became Godzilla which grew way bigger and developed strange new abilities like shooting an atomic breath and having a rapid regeneration factor, as well as developing a sinister and evil intention towards humanity, probably the same hatred it had as a dinosaur, but then magnified 10 times by the radiation. Now let's take a look at its design and its size. This Godzilla Saurus has a very similar appearance to the mutated Godzilla of the movie. It did not have that stark difference as Godzilla Saurus and Godzilla of the Heisei era did. These two were very different looking creatures. This dino from the Minus One movie was unmistakably the same as the kaiju that would later terrorize Japan. 
it was 15 meters or 50 feet tall and was around 30 meters or 100 feet long from head to tail. It had a dorsal plates which although were noticeable weren't really as large as the final product nor were they as big in ratio to its body size as the ones in the mutated Godzilla. It had a larger head relative to the body size, a longer arms ratio and slimmer legs. It has sort of a crouch posture, a bit bent or slouch in the middle and looked to be somewhat of a spiky and a gigantic Jurassic World T-Rex. It was also very agile, very very fast and hyper aggressive. After mutation, it became a 50.1 meters or 165 feet tall kaiju which stood more upright and has nuclear powers as well as the body features becoming thicker, especially the legs. So are there more of them out there? Well, if this was just a cryptid that lived unknown to the world in a remote island and in the ocean, there is bound to be an actual population of these creatures. It wasn't stated to be an immortal creature, only getting regeneration abilities from the nuclear radiation later on. So logically, a Godzillasaurus would just be one specimen of a species, an individual who needs to procreate and live out a life cycle. Anyway, if that piece of flesh doesn't grow into another Godzilla in the end of the movie, then if we get a sequel, it'll be like Godzilla Raids again. Another individual was transformed by the nukes. Now if you like this video then watch this other one as well and do check out our channel for more monster videos. Till the next time, take care fam.